Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Hope all is well. Hey guys, yep. I took a little YouTube vacation as I took a little road trip out west the past 10 days or so. Just got back yesterday afternoon. Back here today, in beautiful Wisconsin. Out here for an early morning walk. A bit on the chilly side here on September 9th. Summer quickly fades away, folks. But well, temperature wise, it looks like it's gonna hang on for a while. We got some upper 80s coming later this week. So that'll be good, I think. I do enjoy this cool weather, it's very nice. Generally this time of year, around mid-September through into mid-October, is my favorite 30 days of the year when it comes to weather. The mornings are usually kind of crisp, but through the midday into the evenings, it's really fantastic weather. Pretty soon here we will start seeing leaves changing colors. Actually saw a little bit yesterday, the first sign of it. But anyway guys, I wanted to stop in this morning, check in, tell you guys I'm back. And yes, I took a jaunt out west and I will get some video footage of that coming up here sometimes hopefully earlier this week of course we started out the journey here in wisconsin where i live drove into the minneapolis area stayed a night there i think the next day we ended up in bismarck north dakota next day we ended up somewhere in montana i'll get more to that in the next video uh, we burned down into wyoming stayed there for a while after Wyoming, we headed back into South Dakota, spent some days there. Then, of course, on our way back, another day in Minnesota. Next day back home here in Wisconsin. I think it was about a 10 night journey, something like that. We stayed at all KOA campgrounds, and we will get more into that in my next video. Turned out to be a pretty good trip. We had two vehicles on the ship, we had the main van. That me and Chris use. And our daughter Heidi followed with the blue bomber. Her blue, what is that thing? Chevy Trailblazer. Worked out great. Did a little bit of off roading with that thing. <laughs> and she actually camps in her car. There'll be a little footage of those vehicles in my next video. So, no vehicle mishaps on the whole trip. I think we figured it was about 2,500 miles round trip. Now, I didn't per se make a travel video. I just kind of took the phone out here and there, dropped a couple messages along the way, and took some good scenery, stuff like that, I guess. Funny thing, it got to the point out there for a couple few days there in a row, there was so much beautiful scenery, and I was taking pictures and a lot of footage of it. It actually started to get monotonous and a bit boring. I'm like, really? Another beautiful scene? just never ending out there so definitely a beautiful place out west definitely wyoming south dakota north dakota montana definitely recommended to visit those places now after checking it out i know i can go back and actually isolate a few spots and spend more time in those spots only bad part about it we were out west great scenery great landscaping and unfortunately, I didn't get much walking in really. So that's why I'm here, back at it, trying to get back into the kick of things here. Unfortunately, right away, two days from now, I gotta drive my butt down to Milwaukee, go to a freaking doctor. I got a scheduled echocardiogram down there. You know guys down here, I haven't taken the wooded path in quite some time. A little while back it was flooded out and I've been avoiding it ever since. Looks a bit overgrown from last time, but not too bad. The bridge, they still never put a center beam in there. It's warping all over the place. Beautiful Montello Tower in the background. 
Yeah, I was kind of going to get to that. It's kind of a shame I didn't get to do any hiking out there. But we were kind of rushing everything. Did a lot of driving. I was going to touch base as I talk about health and diet quite a bit on this channel. On that whole trip, I stuck pretty much, I don't know, 98% carnivore diet. Sometimes it's kind of hard with the three of us as we all eat a bit differently. I'm usually about eh, 97, 98% carnivore. Chris, she is more keto. And Heidi, she'll eat anything. <laughs> she likes her carbs. So we all got three different types of diets. The only downfall of eating this way is one of the fun parts about traveling in my lifetime has been trying different foods in different areas of the country, different restaurants. I always enjoyed that. Unfortunately, now that is a lot harder to do. Throwing a dog, it's hard to find dog friendly places. So restaurants were not necessarily our friends. We did hit a few of them, but nowadays, especially me and Chris, especially me, I go into these places and most of the time, the only thing I can get away with eating is like their burger patties. <laughs> so I'll go into these restaurants with extensive menus and I will order a burger without a bun. Hopefully they got some bacon available. We'll throw some of that on there. And of course I do eat cheese as well. In the end, nowadays it seems like if we go to a grocery store, buy some good meat, buy whatever we want, bring it back, cook it up. It's always much more satisfying at the end of that. Of course, the downfall of that when you're out camping is you gotta clean up after yourself. Oh, you'll see in the next video. We did hit some unseasonably really hot weather for a good three days, maybe four days, something like that. And said, by the end of the trip, I had stopped at the hardware store and picked up a little heater for the van because it was dropping into the 40s at night. As of all the KOA campgrounds we stayed at, some were definitely better than others. I might make a video and review those. The main reason we started staying at KOAs last year, it was kind of by accident, we picked one out of the blue as we needed a place to stay. That was down in Mississippi. And it turned out the bathrooms are gorgeous. So last spring, on our journey, we stayed at a handful of KOAs, and every time the bathrooms were in very good condition usually, which is a plus when you travel in a van that does not have a shower or a bathroom. Well, we do have a bathroom for the evenings, for number ones. So when you're on the road every couple days, you want a nice clean shower if possible. Let's be honest, every few days maybe. <laughs> And this time around, for the most part, the KOAs did not disappoint, but they weren't perfect. There's a couple that weren't the greatest. It can be disappointing as the KOAs, they're not the cheapest campgrounds around. But most of the time, they're definitely worth the price. And there you have it, guys. That's what I've been doing the past 10 days. Like I said, I got some footage. I will make a video, maybe two, out of all that and posted here this week sometime, I hope. Otherwise, here we are back home, back to normal life. Anyway, thanks for checking in, guys. Appreciate it. I will be back shortly. Take care, everybody.